being in a university environment kind of closes you off to the real world and so getting out there and seeing what opportunities really do lie out there is the best thing for me now so that I can know where I want to focus my energies a bit later on in life. I actually love the challenge of the King Kanji, the fact that you have to actually think out of the box. We're actually taught such that we're able to think. The women's program, I found out about it from a friend of mine. She told us how much of a great opportunity it was for her, how much she grew and it opened doors for her and opened her mind to explore entrepreneurship within engineering. Women is an NGO that actually develops the next generation of women engineering leaders in Africa and soon the world. For me it was about the girls, the young high school girls and informing them, creating an awareness that you know you don't have to be a grease monkey and a hard hat and an overall to be an engineer and in by doing so creating and promoting engineering as a career of choice for these young girls. Then my passion grew even further, taking it up to the fellowship level with our university students, realizing that even when I enter the industry, that transition from university to industry, it's not easy. So with us creating the upskilling program, getting our students business ready, creating a new generation of socially conscious engineers, that really, you know, it spoke to the heart of what we do. The skills that we actually teach you actually helps you leapfrog about four years of learning within the engineering sector. So it's how do you formulate an idea, how do you pitch it, how do you network with people, how do you actually get sponsors to be able to move your career forward um, within any sector that you're in. From a pure business perspective, it's provided us access to young, talented female graduates in engineering. We've gone from sitting on the receiving end and complaining about a lack of talent to rolling up our sleeves and with our partnership with Womenj, getting access at a grassroots level to be involved, to be active and to be committed to the tasks at a very, very practical level that are going to enable a pipeline of talent for the future. Unilever has really come out in full support of what we do at Womenj. They send their people who have become incredibly passionate about what we do as well. They volunteer their time to be at our different programs, to inspire our girls, to become mentors for our fellows. And so really it becomes the true meaning of partnership when they come out in full force, showcase who they are as an organization, as a company doing good in the world and actually going to new frontiers with us. For me, taking the initiative into Africa was really, really important. The difference we've seen locally, if we can take that into the continent, who knows what's next? Let's go global. From a Unilever point of view, it's really about how do we get the best female engineers. So not just about, let's just get female engineers just to balance our diversity numbers, but get the best, the real best in industry. The one thing that women strives on is about excellence. So in as much as you're a female engineer, you have to be excellent in your job, you have to be excellent in your grades as well. I actually met Unilever through WOMENG. I was a final year student at UCT doing mechanical engineering. I decided to link up and join the organization. So I initially joined the committee and we had our first conference in August of 2006. Unilever was one of our sponsors. Unilever and Women have been together since inception. During the conference, I happened to stumble across the Unilever table. I liked what they told me and I was sold. So then decided to jump ship, I joined Unilever. Every year I also get the privilege to go back to the Women's Conference and, and talk about how Women's and Unilever have changed my life and share my story with the other students but also be a mentor and invest into the next generation of female engineers. The partnership with Unilever, it builds more into people instead of just giving them money and say go do this and then not care about them anymore. They actually keep track of your progression in life and I think that's what helps build stronger engineers where you have that support base that allows you to kind of grow and network and know people in industry that if you need something here I am and if you want to know something these are the people to talk to. You have been sort of groomed 
and companies need to know that when somebody comes in, they can do this, they can do that. We don't have to start them from scratch. You can pick them from where woman Inch has left and then we'll make them forward into a better person. What we're able to create is a community and a society where people who are like-minded can come together, not just women, but supporters of women engineers um, and champions for women in engineering can come together and create really cool things to showcase the world that if we got together as a collective, we could really create positive change in society. As much as we're women in engineering, men need to be part of the conversation. So getting the guys involved as well and just really showcasing engineering and engineers for not the grey box people that they stereotype to be, but having personalities, doing, being innovators, being inventors. That's where engineering was, you know, centuries ago. From the days that I helped my mum carry pots and selling cookware in a dusty street in a township where I was brought up, uh, I understood what it meant for a woman to make a difference in her career. And that was very personal for me. The journey can't be travelled without both men and women making a difference. And so it's been an opportunity for me to put my hand up and say that uh, you know, I can be one of those who can lead for the change. And Unilever has afforded me that opportunity. We have struck a chord in people's hearts and I think many of the ladies and men within the organisation who are finding this as a channel as a space to do good, and by doing good, do well. Uh, it's been very inspiring. What I love about my job, really the opportunity to change someone's lives every day. I think the fact that you deliver everything through people, it presents us an opportunity to make a difference in people's lives through empowering the people, through really pushing people to achieve great results. Women changed my life, I would never have believed or dreamed that it would turn me into the woman that I am today, that I'd be this person who not was just not an ordinary gender activist, but was an activist for engineering. I call myself an engineering evangelist. Um, that I'm able to go around the world talking about the power of engineering, the power of women within the sector and how we're able to catalyze change, how we're able to help young people through a developmental process. And for me personally, just being such an amazing growing and learning experience that um, it's fun. It's such an amazing journey and I'm just starting to enjoy the ride now. And so I just look forward to seeing where it takes me.